This video is about walk away from a disrespectful person. I will reveal why it's important for you to walk from a person who treats you with disrespect. To find out more, please stay tuned to this video. Welcome to the SCG Show. Feel free to watch this video with subtitles and turn your life around with better help. The link is in the description below. I recently come to the conclusion that there's a real lack of manners in modern society from young and older people, especially after the lockdowns. People just don't seem to care how they treat others anymore, even strangers. It's almost like they've forgotten how to be kind, compassionate, patient, and even respectful. Here are some signs of disrespect. No value of your personal space or boundaries. You get calls at ungodly hours. Your personal space is violated and disregarded. They are not good listeners. You can give them a PowerPoint presentation of your wants, needs and desires, and it all goes unheard. Never keeping to their word. They promise to change, promise to make an effort, but every time it falls on deaf ears, and then you are miserable and once again let down. They lie to you. They tell you what you want to hear, massage your ego, whilst in the background they gossip, manipulate and cheat on you. They take advantage of your insecurities. Whether you have past trauma or even slight trust issues, these people will play you very well to get what they want out of you. I could list more signs, but I could imagine you understand what a disrespectful person is. Disrespect is very common and has always been to those who know what the warning signs and red flags to look out for are. If you don't, well then you're in a world of hurt and trouble potentially by making yourself vulnerable and consistently socializing with disrespectful people. I have myself dated, been friends with and have family members who have been certainly disrespectful. And despite how furious, hurt and upset these people have made me feel in my life, there is only one logical answer. There is only one solution, and that is to walk away from a disrespectful person. Let me go into this subject in more detail. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is just down below. When we are on the receiving end of disrespect of any kind, we can be shocked, surprised, traumatized by such behavior, especially when we're empathetic and compassionate. We often say variations of the following. I can't believe they just said that. I can't believe what they did to me. I can't believe they acted that way. What made them act that way to me? Why are they treating me like this? What the hell is going on? I remember vividly sharing the experience of dating a narcissist with a new partner who couldn't believe the disrespect I used to endure. I shared as much detail as possible and the scenarios and she said, there seems to be no limit to the disrespect, which is a very valid and important point. What do I mean by no limits? Let me analyze and respond to those typical statements we say in response to a disrespectful person. I can't believe they just said that. I can. They're rude people. They will say whatever they want to get a rise or reaction out of you. I can't believe they did that to me. But if our boundaries are poor and we tolerate bad behavior, that's not really a surprise, is it? I can't believe they acted that way. They are disrespectful people. That's their nature. They know no other way to behave. What made them act that way to me? They have the confidence of belief they can get away with it. Why are they treating me like this? They treat almost everyone in their lives with disrespect. What the hell is going on? Here's what's going on. You are dealing most likely with a seriously toxic and negative person. Take a moment now to imagine the worst and most embarrassing thing that a disrespectful person can do to you. I know that can be quite scary because guess what? Over time and with enough confidence, they'll do it. Disrespectful people can really affect our mental health, which is why I'd like to tell you about my sponsor, BetterHelp. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it so effective for turning my life around for the better. 
It's an online portal that provides direct to consumer access to behavioral health services. The online counseling and therapy services are all provided through web-based interaction, such as phone and text communication. You get four live sessions a month and unlimited messaging in between sessions, as well as access to group therapy webinars, which are updated each and every single week. You can sign up for the BetterHelp online counseling service in the description below. By using that link, you'll be supporting the SCG Show YouTube channel and I'll give you 10% off your first month too. So turn your life around with better help. The link is in the description below. As I've gotten older in life, I've recognized and realized familiar patterns in certain people and how they behave. It is often not correct to generalize, but unfortunately some people are just set in their ways. I knew a man who gambled until he was 90 years old. I know a woman who smoked her whole life despite it making her so ill. I knew a man who had regular affairs and so many divorces. I know a woman who bullied everyone she knew and burnt her bridges all her life. Some people just gamble. Some people just lie. Some people just cheat. Some are just negative. Some are just toxic. Some people are just disrespectful. Sure, they have their moments where they behave once in a blue moon, but they are completely inconsistent and that is what makes them dangerous. Where am I going with this? If you've made it this far into this video, I can assume you're self-aware and have resonated with the context and want to improve your life. You're fed up with the disrespect you're enduring. Enough is enough. So therefore, if that is possibly the case, you are having a clash of nature. Your personal nature might be compassionate, empathetic, healthy, peaceful, happy. Theirs is bitter, resentful, aggressive, controlling, negative, toxic. You are not compatible. You don't see the world the same way. You'll be never good enough for them and you'll be never good enough for the wrong person. There is an almighty clash here. I remember dating a disrespectful woman. She was reckless, rude, entitled, the opposite of everything I am. That is, in my opinion, not my nature at all. Hence why I walked away from such a person for good. Understand, it's not just disrespect. It's a serious clash of morals, ideals, and so much more. I know you love them, spent your life with them, they're blood related, best friends. I know your life would be so much easier if you could flick a switch and change them from being disrespectful towards you or everyone. I remember when I dated a narcissist, how I genuinely believed that I could somehow change that rude behavior. I tried everything. I changed myself. I sought help everywhere. I prayed every night. I tried manifesting, reasoning. I spoke until I was blue in the face. Nothing worked. Nothing was ever going to improve. A narcissist will forever be toxic and will always treat that person with disrespect. I've undergone many drastic and incredible personal changes. For example, I've become sober after being addicted, I've lost weight, I built businesses from scratch and become more self-aware. I've overcome great adversity at quite big odds to be the man I am today. However, sometimes we assume the following, well if I can change, if I can get clean and sober and so on, they can change or I can inspire them to change, all they need is a bit of motivation. Here's the cold hard truth. Most people don't change, nor do they want to. A disrespectful person is happy being rude. It's their nature. If they had an ounce of self-awareness, they feel guilty for their actions. But they don't, and instead continue to cause harm and misery to those around them. Ignore the fantasy. Ignore the illusion that just because you or your cousin or neighbor underwent drastic changes that the other person will especially if that person is rude, negative, or disrespectful, or toxic. Sadly, life just doesn't work out that way. We just have to come to terms with it and accept it. You cannot change them. You must let it go. As I mentioned in the previous point, I wasted many years with the wrong person, and a disrespectful one, if that. I exhausted all my options and scenarios to make a change for the better, it didn't work. As I approached my third year of going no contact and staying away from that person, 
I've concluded the following. You're better off walking away, spending time on your own, and doing the work and healing on yourself, than wasting another precious moment with a disrespectful person. It has almost been as much time since I walked away as it was being in a relationship with that person. And whilst there have been many ups and downs for me personally, a lot of traumas too, it has been significantly healthier, happier, and way more rewarding. I've grown and become a better person as a result, and have a zero tolerance policy for anyone that shows me disrespect, be it a family member, a friend, a stranger, anyone. I am ruthless and extremely cautious of who I choose to spend my life and time with moving forward, and I believe I've manifested happier partnerships and relationships too. I hope I've given you clear-cut inspiration and motivation to change your life. I know that gut-wrenching, embarrassing feeling of toxic shame when you're on the receiving end of disrespect and abuse and so on, so just walk away. Go associate with genuine and healthier people instead. They're out there, you just need to go and find them.